What's up guys, the September keynote for Apple, everything about music just uh, was on today live and uh, right now I'm just going to skip through a bunch of um, images, what they talked about which isn't really important. I'm going to get straight to the iPods and stuff, but for now let's just get through this. Uh, one of the things they did talk about was the iOS 4.1 and the Game Center and uh, iOS 4.2 and a sneak peek. So we're going to talk about that right now. So, iOS 4.1, it's uh, going to come out next week, and basically what it has is a pretty much bug fixes uh, HDR photos, which is high dynamic, uh, dynamic range photos, HD video upload over Wi-Fi, TV show rentals, and of course the game center. So, what's this HDR photo means is that it takes, like, I believe three pictures or two, and then it pretty much tries to make the image a lot viewable so um, when it does that it just uh, imports two pictures onto your photo app and you can decide which one's better so this is a pretty nice feature and I pretty much liked it and it, here's some examples from what they showed they wanted to talk about the uh, game center and how it's finally going to appear on the 4.1 and uh, what it basically does is pretty much connect you to other people such as like Xbox Live or PSN and you can pretty much play games, get achievements, invite people too. So he's going well Steve Jobs uh, presented by uh, going over that and he got an invite just like that just in the picture and you pretty much can accept or decline. And then uh, Epic Games came onto the show and uh, revealed their new uh, game for the iPhone I believe it was Project Sword. I'm not too sure I just guessed but it's pretty much using the Unreal Engine. Uh, they went on to talk about it pretty much multiplayer and it's a beautiful game and stuff like that so it's gonna come out mm, later this year I believe and still more gameplay footage and that's pretty much it from what they sh presented they went on to say that yes iOS 4.1 will be next week for the iPhone and iPod touch what else? Yeah. Free download via iTunes. So yeah, and they also said something about. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. I was 4.2 sneak peek, and this is pretty much focuses on the iPad, which is supposed to have the uh, multitasking and folders, and this is what he did. And he actually showed wireless printing, and whenever you do that, it shows like a little printing icon. Also, AirPlay. And here's the uh, photo. He's gonna well, he's pretty much demoing the printing, wireless printing. And as you can see there, there's a little icon saying how many documents are printing. And then he talks about AirTunes. It was Airplane, but then renamed it to AirTunes, which you can pretty much uh, stream audio and video and photos over Wi-Fi. He went to talk about what folders for the iPad, and it's pretty much gonna come out in November, sometime in November. And then he talks about the new iPods. And this is where it gets interesting, and this is where I get a little PO. So he pretty much talks about how 275 million iPods were sold. New iPods, all new designs for every single model. And it begins with the iPod Shovel. It has a click wheel. It's pretty much an iPod Nano without the screen. And of course, it has a little clip at the back. And it pretty much uses voice control. And as you can see, at the top of the iPod Shovel. So very small. It has a uh, separate volume buttons, and small and wearable, easy to use buttons, playlist, genius mixes, and voiceover. And it has about 15 hours. Yes, 15 hours. And it's gonna come in a little package, just like uh, this. So that's nice. It's gonna come in five colors: blue, pink, black, green, and yellow. And it's only forty nine dollars for the two gigabyte model. That's nice. He went to talk about the new nano. Now this is where the three centimeter by three centimeter touch screen was late, and it's pretty much uh, an iPod Nano without the little click wheel and it's touch interface, and you can use two. And it has a uh, music settings, the clock. It doesn't have videos, of course. It has a little clip on the back. 
uh, volume buttons, voiceover, FM radio, and 29 languages. Basically what you do is uh, you use your two fingers to move it. It has 24 hours. I forgot to mention that. Two fingers to move it clockwise or counterclockwise. Here are more images of the iPod Nano. There's photos, of course. The clock, the FM radio. And he goes on to demo it. And as we can see here, he's pretty much playing music. He goes scrolling through the small screen. And I don't know. Probably not going to get this one. But, you know, it's pretty cool. Such a small device can do like stuff like that. I don't know. I'm not really interested in the iPod Nano or the iPod Truffle. So it goes on to say about podcast, photos, settings, voice memos. And it pretty much does the same thing with the regular iOS. You can uh, hold on to it and just move it around. Of course you can't press X on it and of course you don't have an app store on it. So here's he's checking out uh, photos, but he doesn't know that it's like sideways, so he's trying to change that. And that's pretty much it. And he's gonna come in uh, seven colors. I believe the red one is for uh, for charity, I believe. That's what he said. And that's about it. That's the new iPod Nano with no video camera like they did for the last one. It's gonna come in the uh, same package. It looks pretty nice. It's uh, $149 for the 8GB model, which is okay. And $179 for the 16GB model. And now, the most important part is the most popular iPod, the iPod Touch. It's the number one portable game player. It's sold more than uh, Sony and Nintendo combined. That was pretty nice, I didn't really know about that much and 1.5 billion game and internet entertainment downloads so now here's the new iPod touch it's gonna be a lot thinner has a flat surface like the first generation here's the front side and as you can see there's a little camera hole for the FaceTime so uh, I got pretty excited about that it has a retina display Apple A4 chip 3 axis uh, gyrophone and uh, iOS 4.1. One of the things that uh, I didn't put in there was the HD recording, which I haven't sold that yet of the little live stream thing. But it's able to record at 720p. It comes in a new package now. Uh, here's where I get pissed off: is the 8 gigabyte model is only 2.29, and it jumps to 32 gigabyte model for 2.99. Now for me, 16 gigabytes was perfect for me, but now I have to waste another 100 just to get a 32 gigabyte. So I don't know, I'll probably have to wait on that. I'm probably not going to get it the first day it comes out. But here's are the three new iPods. You can get it, you can pre-order it and it's going to ship next week. And they show more ads about it. But onto the camera, yeah there's a front and a back camera. I'm not sure, they're really going to focus on the back camera. But as you can see here from the ad, you can record. And it also has a still picture in it. So I believe you can take pictures with that too. They wanted to talk about the iTunes, and they actually have a new logo for the iTunes now. What they added new in the iTunes is just a few new features to make it less crowded. And they're going to add a new social media for music now. It's pretty much Ping, a social network for music. And pretty much goes on, it's kind of like Facebook and Twitter combined for music. And honestly, I don't really care. I don't see myself following people for music and stuff like that. You might do, but for me, I could care less. So I'm probably not going to upgrade to iTunes 10 until it's safe. And by what I mean safe, I mean for jailbreak purposes. Because iTunes 10 could prevent jailbreaks for the upcoming iPhones, considering they fixed the jailbreak dot, jailbreakme.com. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be holding on for. So... That's pretty much what they had. Uh, well, they keep talking about ping and on the iPhone and iPod Touch. They didn't say anything about the iPad. <sighs> and then there's uh, one more thing. And, of course, they're going to talk about the Apple TV. A lot of rumors have been going on. And, introduced in September 2006. Not a big hit. Users love them. What well, have we learned? Uh, Hollywood, they want Hollywood videos, everything in HD, lower prices, don't want a computer, don't want syncing, and don't want managed storage. 
So, what they did was they are going to remodel the thing after four years, and they are going to make it silent, cool, and small. And they're going to make it one-fourth of that size in a darker color. It's the Apple TV. You can hold it out of the palm of your hand, and they went to test it out. And on the back of the thing, there's uh, the power cord, the HDMI, and Ethernet. And that's about it. That's what they showed. And it also has a uh, Wi-Fi. So all you need to do is just plug in the power cord and the HDMI, and you're all set, which is pretty nice. They got the remote. It doesn't look quite different, really. And here are the new uh, details about the new Apple TV. Streaming, no syncing, stunning photo slideshows, all HD when available, silent, cool, and all rentals, no purchases, which is kind of bad and for some people. Four ninety nine for first run HD movies, which means a f and two ninety nine for HD TV shows. What they mean by uh, the five nine oh, fuck and ninety nine cents for HD TV shows, and so far the only companies that are going with this is ABC and Fox. Also, you can use your Netflix to stream your content, so that's pretty nice. YouTube, Flickr, and Mobile Me. And he went on to demo it. So right here, we just got the UI. Mm, whole lot of movies. I'm not interested in either of these two because I don't really watch TV or movies. If I do, it's probably like uh, YouTube or something. I don't know. I don't really watch TV that much. If you honestly care. So it goes on to demo it on Iron Man 2. And that's pretty much it. Oh, here's like a slideshow. And it's only going to be $9.99. And that's pretty much the whole presentation. The new iPod lineup, the new Apple TV. And it ends with a performance from Coldplay. That's about it, guys. If you like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, if you have any suggestions, I'll leave it in the comment section. I was going to get the iPod Touch, but since uh, they don't have a 16GB version, I'll have to save up and buy it some other time, probably within late September or early October. Depends, because I'm probably going to get a new game, Black Ops, if you haven't heard of it. So, I don't know. I'll probably have the iPod Touch bond by that time. So, yeah. So, please leave a comment, rate, and subscribe.